Okay, now we have come to the final part. Let me create the final part, part four. Where I'm going to show you uh, a revenue posting to profit center and revenue posting as in a AR customer invoice posting. And then I'm going to do a balance transfer to next year so that. I can show you how the revenue from the revenue account can be transferred to a retain earnings account for this profit center. Okay. Okay, let me post the revenue to a San Francisco branch. Customer invoice. Okay. Let me choose any customer. Invoice date. Revenue, let's say about we are selling 500 worth of stocks. And choose GL account stocks or oh, revenue. Uh, so sales of MPV, maybe. Yep, we are selling on MPV. Sales of MPV for 200 and I'm going to post it to this property center San Francisco okay let me stop here for a while I need to explain something um, while reviewing the part 2 part 3 training video my quality control uh, executive informed me that uh, I have not clearly explained uh, one thing in my part 3 which is the reason why we have to use this function the calculate function here f.5d According to him, he says that I did not ex explain properly the reason why we are using this function when we are transferring the payables and receivables to profit center using the period and closing option, which is this. He was asking why not uh, we just use this transferring payables and receivables directly without even using this calculate option. Okay, there is a reason to this which I'm going to explain using this document here in part 4. The reason why we have to use calculate is uh, for some certain documents there could be a situation whereby the line items be it for AP vendor invoice or customer invoice the line items can be posted to more than one profit center. In this case, I'm going to use this example, which is also going to be the same for the AP invoice, whereby I'm going to create uh, two line items which will post to different profit centers. Okay, so I'm going to use the same stock account to post the remaining 300. Okay, because the total amount is 500, and I'm going to post this to cars. Okay, so only 200 will be posted to profit center San Francisco and, and the remaining 300 will be posted to profit center cars in this situation let me post it first oh it's posted let me display it first ok if you like look at this document here the AR uh, creditor recon account does not have a profit center assigned to it Okay, this is usual and the reason why we are using the calculate function here is to get the system to calculate the amount to be posted the receivables amount that to be posted to profit center proportionately according to the line items okay this means that from this document here we know that 200 out of these 500 amount should be posted to San Francisco and 300 out of 500 should be posted to cars profit center 
So it is wrong to assume that all the 500 will be posted to profit center for San Francisco or all the 500 will be posted to profit center cars because as you can see here only 200 goes to San Francisco and 300 goes to cars. So this is the reason why we have to use the, this calculate function to actually calculate what is the proportionate amount that should be transferred to San Francisco. I mean the proportionate receivable amount that should be transferred to San Francisco out of these 500 total receivables amount. So maybe now you can understand why this example is same thing for vendor invoice. In the vendor invoice has got two line items and one payables line item. Then the system will use this calculate function to proportionally calculate what is the proportionate payable, payable amount to be transferred to the uh, respective profit centers. So this is the reason we are using this calculate function before even before we execute that transfer if we execute the transfer even before we calculate then the system will not be able to identify what amount should be transferred to San Francisco and what amount should be trans uh, transferred to cars okay I mean the receivables this is okay the line items are okay even now the line items are already posted to San Francisco let me show you because line the revenue line items posting to profit center is real time it doesn't have to be transferred using this function here this is only for transferring payables or receivables line item okay let me see let me show you okay wait where am I now? Okay. Let's go to that. Okay, as you can see here the revenue line item of 200 is already transferred to San Francisco Puppy Center so it's not a big issue see this but the only thing which is not transferred in real time is the receivables and payables line item which is this this is the receivables same case for AP vendor invoice it will not be transferred in real time because you, you can't see the this account sorry uh, this GL account anywhere yet see so that amount is not transferred yet the receivables is not transferred yet yeah this is a receivables recon account 2000 can't see it here right so it's not transferred yet that's why I'm saying receivables and payables will not be transferred in real time. It can only be transferred by manually using this function here. Alright, so I've explained why we are using this calculate function now. Let me do the calculate function. Is it? Let me go and do the calculate function. Alright, just ignore this error message as you know. Now we're going to transfer variables one test run line items. Select the company code. Okay. Successful. Choose detail lock. You can see where is it? Let me 
see. San Francisco 200 sales of MPV San Francisco 200 you can see here yeah see the line items over here now visible line items will be transferred okay let us do it now all right let me show you something see the receivers line item for GL account 2003 is 200 it's not 500 as you can see here it's not all 500 is transferred to property center and you look at the cars okay only 300 is added to the earlier 1005 okay not all the 500 is showing 1008 because it's already a 1500 uh, balance there so 300 is added to it all right so this is the reason we need to calculate before we even transfer now we do a live transfer now cash run remove line items okay yes click yes now everything has been transferred let us go and check our report ok the receivables are transferred now 200 now we have 200 revenue ok update this uh, slide here we have a revenue of 200 so we sold 500 right and 200 for this property center mm, two, so how should I update here now ok 200 here do this revenue 200 PNL I just put here PNL 200 okay let me let me enter 200 here PNL and uh, trade creditors is Two hundred. Okay. Now we have a revenue of two hundred. Okay. Now we are good to do our closing for profit center, San Francisco. All right. So that the uh, revenue can be carry forward to retain earnings account but before that we need to do something we need to add the retain earnings account to the additional balance sheet okay before that we need to check what is our return earnings account we can check here on the profits and accounting basic setting balance carry forward maintain return earnings account go to sun this is already set up because this is a copy of the of the setting that we set in uh, FI let me show you in FI we have already specified the return earnings account mm, let me see where is it alright carry forward yeah define return earnings account it's a copy of this okay what we are seeing in uh, 
in the profits and the accounting here it's actually a copy of what you have set up in the FI so you don't have to change anything in that just leave it as it is but just copy this this is going to be our return earnings account now come here choose accounts new entry 1000, 4000 and dummy save it so we can transfer a return earnings account I think we already set up I think it's already set up sorry about that oh yeah it's already set up here so we don't have to set it up return earning account is already set up here so now let us do the balance transfer but before that just make sure this setting here on the balance carry forward provision accounting basic settings balance carry forward this setting is here is carry forward allowed is checked by default if it's checked here you can't carry forward alright that's about it now we can run the carry forward over here let me check go back ok carry forward to fiscal year always you would enter the next year test run first all good successfully completed messages records not carry forward since account defined account ok this is not carry forward rental account the reason why is let me check what account is this fs00 it's not a jail account yeah it's not a jail account this is some other account ok just leave it but basically this display of records carry for possible check return earnings account ok return earnings account is will be 3500 company code currency how come it's 3500 let me check because it also contains the wait, let me check ok how it has arrived at 3500 1003 is ok uh, 200 is building Trade creditors is 2650. Yeah, oh, wait, this is all this is also includes the other profit centers. Okay, so that's why you can see 3500. Hopefully, uh, this will be divided by the profit center because you see this 2650 our trade creditor should be only 200 the reason why is showing a greater figure for trade creditors trade oh this is trade debtors so let me correct this trade debtors trade debtors 200 sorry about that so but the trade creditors here 2650 the reason being 
Let me zoom in where I can see the details of these postings. We can't see. It also includes the other profit centers. Okay. Let, let us do a live run so that we can check how much will be transferred to our profit center. Go to actual line items to changes to 2010. Hosting period 1, yes. No data found. Let me see, 0. Return in his account 3005. Let me check. Got type 0 version. Let me check the GLPCT table. Okay. Sun controlling area. This is our retained earning. Cars San Francisco is. Let me check how much has been transferred. That 200 has been transferred to this retained earnings account. Alright, 4000. And the balance is to the other accounts. Cars, let me and so far. Let me give you a clearer picture here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove these fields. I'm going to customize this face. Okay, uh remove all first okay let me select only the important fields account number is important and uh, transaction is important session currency object currency is important let me copy this ok account number is 4000 CLVT in company code currency it's CVLT so let me select that field as well ah, this one all right so this is the account number which is not uh, carried forward we will check that later why it's not carried forward now let us co concentrate on this first the account number 4000 which is this 200 200 
all right let me filter for this sort it yep all right you can see let me do this first let me change this layout to grid display so that we can total and subtotal let me filter first filter for account 400 zero zero. 1 2 3 5 okay and then I'm going to sum up this let me see whether I can sum this up I can't sum this up okay it's alright so the total of this is what has been carried forward which is 3500 okay but we forgot to select the profit center let me select the profit center oops let me see let me go here it will be list go to user parameters SC16 so that I can select the profit center profit center is very important I forgot to select that this one copy okay now we look at this sort by account number okay 3500 has been carried forward and how much is carried forward for San Francisco profit center is only 200 okay as you can see here these are return earnings account only 200 is carried forward but when I go to the line items just now I was not able to see the returns earnings account okay for period one of course because it should be displayed for period 2010 but it's not displayed yet that's the reason I need to check why it's not displayed let me check which period is be has been updated fiscal year 2010 and period 16 which is right check this transaction here two hundred which is in company code currency should be displayed in period one carry forward total uh, for the period right so I need to select this as zero and then I'll be able to see it zero zero one zero 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 the problem here is actually the 200 is updated in period 0 you see the period 1 period 2 period 3 for example see this San Francisco this one 2500 is updated in period 1 for 2010 yep 
and this 2500 here let me see this See the, like this this transaction here is updated for fiscal year 2009 and it's updated in period 1 so we can see it in the actual line items clearly but for our carry forward item which is this return earnings is updated in 2010 yes which is correct but it's updated in period 0 so if we specify period 1 here obviously it won't be shown but there's no way we can specify a, peri a period 0 here because period 0 is not an entry here so if we leave it empty it doesn't mean it's period 0 it is it means nothing so it won't be selected here so I must find a way to show that information to you let me use another report instead of line items I have to use a totals report Okay, uh, here this will show the totals. Okay, oops, so this is also asking for period, but we can enter period one and the plan version is this and uh, value is San Francisco hopefully we can see the carry forward amount period 1 still 0 so there's no way we can see period 0 unless we enter this let me try once again we do this period 0 is not allowed alright then how am I going to sh see the carry forward balance let me check this this is also asking for a period you won't be able to see the carry forward amount but let me give it a try let me enter 0 and 1 it doesn't allow right okay let me see which other report we can use to see this Okay, let's look at the totals record. Okay, record time, yes. I'm still asking for a posting period. Okay, office center, San Francisco. Let me see, 2010. Ha, alright. So, this is the report. Alright, 
total special functions total record so it doesn't go by the period so you can't even select the period so let me change to 2010 profit center San Francisco and execute you see this returns earnings account for 0000 has got an amount of 200 which means these are other balance sheet accounts okay which means the PL item the revenue of 200 has been transferred to this return earning account after we have executed the balance carry forward which is for 2010 okay this is how you have to do it other balance sheet uh, accounts we also got the balances carry forward okay for 2010 but 2009 you won't be able to see any entry for the return earning account because we started our see the return earning account is not shown here we started our business in 2009 and carry forward to 2010 Right now, and I also explained why it is shown at 3005 here because it's a aggregation of all the profit centers, so that's why you can see 3500. So, if you want to see the return earning account which is carried forward for only for San Francisco, you would use this report here, okay? Let me conclude this topic. So what I have shown here is that I have created a San Francisco branch and I have posted values to it and we can see the snapshot of San Francisco values for all the GL accounts without even mixing up our view with the main HQ account. You see that the once again let me go to 2010 profit center San Francisco even though the only 200 is shown for return earnings for for 000 this is just a snapshot of the total return earnings account from the HQ which is only applicable for San Francisco branch actually the the return earning account of 4000 will have more value at the HQ level because it will have uh, see this 5000 it will have the HQ postings into it so what is being shown here as 200 is only applicable for San Francisco branch ok the system is smart enough to show only the amount related to San Francisco branch based on the profit center settings Okay. Let me prove this to you. Let me go to FS account. Where is it? Mm. Let me go here. Financial statement. Sun, 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 voting here. The return earnings account is over here, which has got five thousand. See this? So that is at the HQ level. It has got 5000 but what is shown in the San Francisco level is only 200 because the system is smart enough to show only which is show the amount uh, which is applicable only for the San Francisco branch.
based on the profit center settings so that's why it is maintaining this table here glpct yeah to actually store the amount relevant for the profit center san francisco for this return earning account so actually it is showing the reports all these values are coming from this table values glpct okay so if any value is not being shown in any of the profit center reports the first thing you have to do is to come and check in this glpct table using the t code se16 like how i did only then you can understand just now i was not sure why the returns earnings account is showing 3500 until i come here and see that the return earnings account is also posted for other profit centers you see this common common dummy bikes and all that so that's why the total is 3500 uh, what is posted for san francisco is only 200 as you can see here all right okay the final thing is the messages here this is rental records not carry forward since no account defined okay this is space so just ignore the space the rental account the reason why this will not be carried carry forward is because this is not a uh, balance sheet account let me prove this to you so where is this coming from as cost element accounting and master data cost element display enter rental so this uh, we created this rental account for our assessment topic so this is not a balance sheet account this is just a assessment cost element something like a technical temporary cost element use purely used for assessment so that's the reason it's not carried forward okay so we explain that let me end the topic here so we know how a profit center can be used as a, a branch branch posting to post all the what you call postings necessary to maintain an investment center this is a sub balance sheet of the main company HQ so this whole thing is like a sub balance sheet all right we have a capital building stock trade debtors and PNL return earnings and so forth we can also balance carry forward for a branch so without using a company code we can maintain a profit and loss and a balance sheet statement using a profit center for branch legal